Welcome to part two. I'm glad that you guys made it for those of, the, of you that are here. Uh, this stuff that I'm about to cover, this stuff for me was really huge to, to discover. It, it really took me a long time to, to figure out what this is and what I'm about to show you. Um, so kick back, enjoy this, and I'll see you on the backside. When I would look at some of these edges, and this is predominantly on cauticles where I would see this, I would see this kind of stuff and I couldn't figure it out. Where this stuff kind of going sideways was coming from. Because I know in one of my videos I talked about my, my cautical series, I, I mentioned that doing circles can cause some problems and I stopped doing that. But then I was, every periodically I would still see lines like this. And again, I said predominantly on cauticles, however, it can happen on other stones. This is in an, uh, on, on my ILR. We can see some stuff going sideways, although not as bad. And I'm sure it's barely perceptible on, on Japanese stones. Uh, again, that's why I said this is mostly for cautical stuff. But I, I would see this and I couldn't figure it out. Well, ultimately, I figured it out that it was coming from hooking X's, all right. Again, here's some more of this stuff. This thing—it's really bad, and you can see what it does. Is it—is it knocks out the edge? Okay. Um, in my cortical series, I talked about the dreaded white line. When you look under a microscope, now this is under the 400 microscope. Seeing this, this dreaded white line, I knew that those were a problem, and I didn't really know what or why. But I—I I even remember saying that if I could enlarge that, if I had a more powerful microscope, I would know what it is and hopefully how to fix it. And what I determined that when I could see it, by the way, these are the same pictures here. Uh, 1023, is that right? No, that's 12.4. What's the other one? This one. Is that 1023? These ones are the same. Okay. Here it is at 400. Here it is at 1000. All right. That's blown up. So this is the dreaded white line enlarged. And I, I said before that we're dead in the water. Um, yeah, this, this edge will never come around. You have to kill the edge and then start from 8K again and then refine it. And I, I finally determined that from hooking the edge, or I mean hooking the, the X as you come around this way, it would put those sideways marks. It was It's almost kind of like doing a, doing a circle. All right, so last night, wanted to try an experiment. So here's an 8K, real nice, pretty, synthetic edge, real perfect, perfect lines, everything, okay? So what I did is I have this one particular cortical, it's my La Petite Blanche, the LPB, and I knew that using that, if I were to do anything just not perfect, that dreaded white line would appear. So what I did is I used that stone and I did six hooks on the X, just from six of them, and this is what happened. We can see not only do we have the 45 this way, but we have 45s going that way, okay? And only six passes, but you can see it's starting to bang up the edge. You know, if I were to do 30 or 40, as I would normally do to finish, the edge would just be unsalvageable. Um, so then I did what I did is I brought it back to 8K, and then I did it without hooking the edge, and we can see this is a finished edge, and that's a very nice cortical edge. Cortical edges are not real pretty like like synthetic stones, but this is a very nice cortical edge. This will be a very nice shaving edge. And we can see that all the lines, for the most part, are all going in the same direction. Uh, so, so that's good. All right, now, last week, somebody had sent me, their, there's a sard razor, and they wanted me to sharpen it. And what he told me is he said, you know, I, I, I honed it, and it worked pretty good for a few shaves, and then it started to, to go south. Well... As I look at this, I see all kinds of issues here and pretty much sums up everything that the video is about. Uh, first off, looking at it, I can tell it's a cortical. This is a finished stone, and only those garnets and cauticals are going to do this kind of stuff, especially if you hook your X's. And we can even see up here some scratches going sideways. These are probably earlier in the progression, but I'm guessing that his X's were probably a little bit too parallel to the edge. So, uh, yeah, that's a problem there. But what we're looking at is we're seeing the marks going this way, and we're seeing them go that way. Again, that's from taking your X and 
coming down across the stone and then hooking it back the other way. Now as we look at these blown out parts, let's start with this one. It's almost triangular here, and if we look, we can see it's at these levels of the scratches here, okay? Um, this one, if we follow it up, we can see it goes up into this scratch, this one over here. It, what it does is it, 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 uh, um, it weakens the edge. I mean, look at this one right here. Look at this scratch. We can see even the shadow there. This the microscope here is great. I haven't seen stuff like, the only thing I've seen anything close to that is like SEMs type stuff, um, <laughs> just for fun. There's another one. Look at this. Look at this line right there. I only see stuff like that on an SEM. But anyway, uh, this the way that this this got blown out is because the scratches, and now you have to figure the scratches are on the other side as well. After you use it, you start banging this edge into your whisker, and then you strop it. Those create weak spots. Here, let me show you on a piece of paper. Okay, so what I want to show you is my interpretation of what I think these scratches would look like if... I could show them to you on cross-sectional view. All right, so here's cross-section of the razor. What I want to do is I want to just focus on that, that part right there. Okay. Now, look at I blew it up. All right, just that part right there. Now, if we were to take a look at the edge that we're that at some of the stuff I just showed you that had the scratches in there, can you see the that scratch there? And then if you have a scratch over here, the problem is right in the middle so you see that's 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 a bit precarious there and that's what can happen if you shave with that it can take and knock that out or you strop it or maybe a few times after a while and that thing's going to take and snap off you're going to blow out that edge or that section of the blade there that's what i believe is going on with that so don't hook your x's and we're back all right so what i did with this particular razor is first off, well, I had to straighten it out as far as some geometry issues, but took it to the 8K, killed the edge, smoothed that out, and pow! Look at that. Woo! 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 <laughs> yes, what I did is I made sure that I hit this straight. There were no hooks on this. And we can see, again, this is a cortical edge. Not as pretty, not as perfect as synthetic edges or even as, the, as far as the Japanese, but this is a beautiful edge. All right, so I think that about covers it. So to sum up everything, all right, what's the takeaway here? Well, I covered a lot of stuff and it took me a lot of time to, to come up with all of that data, but the takeaway is real easy, all right? As far as the X's, don't pull it parallel to the edge. Uh, either keep your, keep your edge parallel to the, or, or perpendicular to the edge of the stone and cross this way, or if you want to pitch it that way, try and keep the whole thing on the edge. Uh, look, lean, and roll. Torque it, torque, the, torque it down, pull it across, and roll your pressure from the heel to the toe as you go across. And finally, and probably most importantly, do not hook your X's, especially on codicles. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you have a great rest of the day. If you have any questions, email me, drmatt357 at hotmail.com. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Have a great day. We'll see you real soon. Get them out on the dirty boulevard. Going out. Dirty Boulevard, they're going down on the Dirty Boulevard, going out. Outside, it's a bright night. There's an opera at Lincoln Center. Movie stars arrive by limousine.